$1.2 billion was invested into Israeli fintech in Q1 of 2021, representing 23% of the country's tech ecosystem investment that quarter and 70% of last year's annual fintech investment in the country. Israel is a home of innovation with a host of investors, innovation labs and corporates looking to it for deep progressive tech solutions, for example, in trading and investments, payments, anti-fraud and enterprise tech. Hi, I am Nicole Krieger, the fintech sector analyst at Startup Nation Central in Tel Aviv. In this vlog, we will talk about financial technological innovations that have entered the domestic Israeli financial market, notably in digital payments, banking services, and the efforts of local regulators. Starting with digital payments, to bring you up to speed, until recently, digital payment capabilities in Israel predominantly involved three mobile applications, Paybox, Bit, and Pepper, which were formed by Israel's three prominent banks. E-payment technology has developed considerably beyond this. EMV and NFC transactions are now commonly accepted in establishments, and the Bank of Israel raised the contactless transaction limit by 50%. With this infrastructure in place and consumer adoption uptick, Apple Pay launched in Israel. And supermarket chains Shufasal and Rami Levy are also implementing digital wallet alliances or services. QR-based digital payments are emerging in Israel. Israel's popular public transport and parking applications, Moveit and Pango, partner to revolutionize mobile ticketing. Now, using a QR code on board, it is possible to purchase a ride using one's phone, which makes public transport more accessible and efficient for riders. As restaurants are now reopening in Israel, most include QR payment technology on receipts, enabling contactless billing at the end of a meal and even splitting the bill amongst group members. Israel is steadily advancing on par with global digital payment standards and several impactful changes are expected in the local market. With digital wallet normalization, consumers can simply carry their phones and use contactless payment methods, leaving their physical wallet at home. And the digital wallet compatibility also creates an easy experience for tourists that are visiting Israel. Payment platforms are expected to expand into additional banking services. For example, Shufasal seeks to become a financial supermarket providing banking services via their digital wallet. And competition in this offering should be interesting, with large Israeli corporate chains, Israeli banks, and international players all entering this space. Contactless payment technology enables companies to distribute and monetize consumer data, ideally for the benefit of improved customer service and product. Thank you for joining us, and I hope it was interesting to learn about financial sector innovation within Israel's home turf. Stay tuned for our next vlog.